Okay, welcome back. I wasn't really anticipating making this video, but given that the SIG has been failing so spectacularly, I figured it's worth it to give the competitors a fair shot. So I've got, again, Buffalo Bore, 220 grain hard cast. It's rated at 1200 feet per second. And I've got the Smith M&P 10 2.0. So we're going to give this a shot. I've loaded it to 15 full rounds. You can see there. And we're just going to chrono five of these because I want to I want to see if I can make sure to have a full mag for the Springfield, which takes 16. So uh, let's give this a shot and see what we come up with. See if it does better than the SIG, which it already did because it already chambered the round off of a full magazine with the which the X10 still will not do. All right, let's give this test a shot. All right, here we go, Buffalo Boar. Out of the SIG MMP 2.0. See how we do. Very consistent. And 1117, flawless function out of the MMP 10 2.0. So I've got to say guys, this MMP 10 2.0 is impressing me more and more. The longer I have it, the more I shoot it. I'm just not seeing any of the same issues that people have been reporting. Sounds like it's mainly with the four inch barreled version though. So uh, I'm glad I got the 4.6. Obviously I had Woods carry in mind when I got this. Uh, I didn't really see the need for a four inch uh, in what I do. If I was going to do that, I'd probably get the 3.8 Springfield. But runs full mag flawlessly, fed it flawlessly. Uh, what can you say? It's by far the best looking pistol out of the 10s, I would say. So it's a looker. Anyway, let me know what you think. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check the description below for links to my Teespring and Patreon. Thanks for joining me on the journey. This Smith is growing on me more and more and more. LW Road, out.